Hey, this is The Hawk. I hope you enjoy the show with Dominic Izzo on the Rants of Izzo, talking about South Africa, Black Lives Matter, and Antifa, and what's happening in the world today in regards to all the racism and how to deal with it, and the South African communist government that needs to be removed. All the radical, murderous situations that are happening in South Africa I hope you enjoy the show. Please subscribe and, and like and share. Thank you. All right, we may call. We're, we're, we're trying to set up, due to time zone differences, trying to set up an interview uh, from a, a representative in South Africa to talk about the violence. Nobody's talking about it. You're just not talking about it. Um, I, I touched upon it last year once or twice. Um Oh, hang on a second. Let's uh, let's see if Craig will take the call now. Let's just jump into this now because we have uh, differences in, in time hours here. Hey, Craig, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, fantastic. We're actually live on air now. How are you? We're good, good. Good. How have you been? Good, pretty good. Good. I remember you came on last year once or twice, and we did an update with all of the, the horrible atrocities going on in South Africa, correct? That's correct. Well, you know, it's been uh, it's been a year since we've had you on, and I know we let that story go on the way a little bit. Can you kind of give a recap as far as who you are, uh, if you're comfortable doing that, and then uh, your involvement in South Africa and what people actually need to know that the mainstream media is not reporting on? Okay, so the South African government is a communist socialist government. The government itself has introduced more apartheid laws against the whites and the minorities in the country than the apartheid government of the national government that was in power before between 1948 and 1994. What has happened since then is that they have gone into business with China and Russia uh, to basically gut the country of its resources. They sold the mineral rights to the Chinese. They are basically controlling, they have raped the entire uh, financial system. It's gone completely 26 years backwards. Uh, the apartheid laws that are in place right now, they've actually put more apartheid laws in place. The United States gave that country $9.4 billion since 1994. Where's the money? They just gave them $8 million, uh, no, 8 million rand, for COVID-19 to help them, and they denied the white citizens of their country any aid. They were actually taking the food away from them, even in the squatter camp. There's now 1.2 million white squatters because they can't get jobs. They've been denied. There is atrocities that are going on in those farms every single day, and you, you got to understand what's happening there. They are raping the children in front of the parents. They literally cut the father's eyelids off to make him watch. So we, need, we need to kind of pause that for a second here because people are not going to believe that. In America, we have people who think that the worst thing that's going on right now is that the black community out here in America is so oppressed. We have the Black Lives Matter movement demanding uh, uh, social justice, demanding equality. There is this 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 all of a sudden creation that for some strange reason, blacks in America are still oppressed, which we've yet to see. It just doesn't happen. You're legitimate. No. You're legitimately telling me in South Africa that the black men in South Africa are raping white children and forcing parents to watch. Correct. To watch. Yes. And they torturing them for hours and hours and hours. Katie Hopkins did a, a documentary on it. Laura Sutherland from Australia did a documentary on it. Everybody's been doing documentaries. Nobody wants to listen. As for Black Lives Matter, it was created by two black women. Both of them are lesbian black women who are Marxist, Leninist supporters. This whole thing is a, is a fast. As a policeman, you should know that not, more, the, more white people are shot in the United States than any black people. That, that's a fact. Uh, another fact that people don't realize, too, is that only 1.4% of the United States ever owned a slave before, before the Civil War. 
That's another fact that people don't realize is that Robbie T. Lee was the one that was the first person to say, free the slaves, that we won't have this war. It, it was the, the Emancipation Proclamation by, by, by Lincoln was a political ploy to, to, get, to gain popularity. It wasn't he owned slaves. The whole thing is a fact. There is not one person in the United States that can tell me that they do not have equal rights. And this is a, all just a political, a, and again, I'm going to put it right to where it is in South Africa, communism. So when, when you guys in South Africa see what the black community is doing here, and you see what the white community is, is just bending over backwards to try to appease people, to a you constantly... You cannot appease them. Uh, well, no, like, you we, cannot. You have, like, I'll give you an example. In Chicago... Over, over Thursday night going into the weekend, Black Lives Matter demanded that uh, the Christopher Columbus statue be removed. And our mayor, who's a female black lesbian, in the yeah. middle of the night on Thursday removed the statue after several police officers, 41 police officers, were injured by weapons being thrown at them, you know, frozen bottles of water, frozen bottles of urine, uh, uh, fireworks, all this. So she has the statue removed, which you think would solve the problem and would meet their demands, but it didn't. They they no, still talk about well we this is the still underlying issue so we no, have a go ahead I'm sorry go ahead she's not dealing with the fact that 30, 30 people died every single weekend in, in Chicago and and ninety percent of them were children she's also is, she's also addressing an issue that will keep getting moved they want an inch they take a mile I have to ask this number one what how does the white community in south africa look at what the white community the white liberal community in in illinois excuse me in the united states is doing when we bow down and kowtow to this black lives matter movement do they think we're being foolish well i i have to be honest with you the white community in south africa right now are in peril they cannot open their mouth they get murdered that's a fact they get murdered. Anybody that goes against the government gets murdered. Anybody that goes against the black community gets murdered. You cannot say anything. They have been completely and utterly um, uh, marginalized so they can't say anything. It's far worse than ever before, and even with apartheid. The, the problem is that we have to stand back and say no more. I've, I've introduced a, a petition for sanctions. There's over 35,000 signatures. I want a million signatures. I want to introduce uh, um, full-blown economic sanctions against South Africa to stop the discrimination of any citizen in that country and to remove the communist government by any means. And what I mean by that is we have to understand, too, the United States giving aid to a country that is aiding and abetting communism, they have also voted over 99% against the, the United States in the UN in every vote. 99%. The Venezuelan uh, ambassador to South, for South Africa actually said that they would go against the United States in, in, in any, they would bring military action against the United States and help Venezuela. These are not our friends. When we put sanctions on, on Iran, they gave Iran 13 tons of gold. That's a fact. They're also selling diesel to Iran. They're violating our sanction laws. They, they have 40 ISIS and Hamas and Al-Qaeda camps in South Africa. These are facts. What happens to the facts? You know, I, I'm, I'm ignorant in a lot of ways, especially what's going on in your country. I, I'm sure there's massive retaliation when you fight back, but are are white people fighting back in any way that they can? Are if they know that you've got I don't know a, a bunch of black uh, uh, South Africans going to come onto your land, and you know, my God, I could get my family raped and murdered here. Are people fighting back at all? Is there any reports of that what at all? They, what they're doing is they're killing the farm, and then the families leave, and the farms fall apart. And what's going to happen is another Rhodesia where there is no food. Economy went to, Robert Mugabe literally destroyed all the farms. So that all those people are now in South Africa, illegally, getting 
whatever they can get their hands on because there is nothing there. So and now in South Africa, they're doing exactly the same thing. This is a, this has happened throughout Africa. As soon as colonialism left, these people moved in and they took over and they're just raping the country till there's nothing left. And then what happens is the country collapses, in comes the IMF, in comes all these other criminals. They take over, they buy every politician that there is and lands up being a mess. And yeah, we have a third, fourth, fifth year, fifth world country that is, that is these poor people are basically raped to the point of nothing left. And they don't realize it because what's happening, same as in America right now, they're using the color and race against each other to divide and conquer us. Was there anything that you guys saw that if you look back and said, if we only could have prevented this, I mean, I don't want to sit there and say you, you obviously everyone thought apartheid was horrible, had to be ended. Um, did it just go so extreme that South Africa went, you know what? We did something so bad for so wrong. Now we have to make up for it. And you bent over. No, 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 no. Because what happened is we were sold a, a bunch of goods by the international communities, like because of Henry Kissinger, Still around that evil son of a bitch. Excuse my French. No, but you're fine. You're he, fine. He's still around. He's still there. You got Gates. You've got you've got uh, 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 Obama's down there. You've got uh, uh, Oprah Winfrey down there. You've got Prince Harry and this Meghan Markle woman down there. And they all come in. Bill Gates was walking in Kyalitas three weeks before they shut the country down, and the first case of coronavirus was in Kyalitas. And him and his wife were walking around there as if and that's the most dangerous place you could ever be in and nobody touched them. You explain that to me. I can't. I can't. I believe that this whole thing's a bunch of uh, crap going on there anyway. It's, 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 a, it's a con virus. But I mean, we can go into that another time. But the, the problem with what we're having in South Africa is, is you cannot own a business unless there's a black partner with 51% share. That's the only country in the world where the minority uh, they have just, they have what do they call it affirmative action against the minority, not the majority. We had that, okay. you know, we have that here a couple about a year ago. Uh, yeah. uh, Illinois adopted a law that talked about if you're a board of directors, it's mandatory you have to have at least a person of color on the board. Doesn't matter that person's qualifications. Your board is not valid and it's illegal unless you have a person of color on there. How far are we away from seeing the signs of saying, okay, you know what, how soon is it until, you know, the, the black community demands reparations and, oh, God, uh, I'm sorry, you have to give us 10% of what you make a year and it becomes law. What mistakes did South Africa made that the United States should avoid? Okay, yeah, in South Africa, what we were sold is we were sold the ANC, the African National Congress, to consist of the African National Congress, the South African Communist Party, and the the United Trade Unions Organization, the three organizations that are in one to run the country. You cannot run the country when the unions and and the and the Communist Party are your main main group. You just a figurehead. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they are controlled by the communists. Now, we were sold a bunch of goods about the new South Africa because of Mandela. Mandela was a terrorist. So he talk about him. that for a second, because people think he was a hero. Just no, no, Nelson no, he Mandela was, was not a good man. No, he, he, he orchestrated at least 24 bombings. They killed women and children, and most of them were black, not white. Unbelievable. So, so he went to jail for 27 years. When he came out, everybody was Mandela, Mandela, Mandela. And yes, he was told, yes, talk about peace, talk about this and that. There's a document. And you can look it up on the internet. It's called the, the, the Boiling the Frog. And, and it's a document that was orchestrated by Ramaphosa, who's the now president of South Africa. And it's a list of everything that they were going to do to the white. And it's called Boiling the Frog. And what it means is, that the white people will go into water and we will slowly boil them alive until they realize that they, they don't realize they're dying. And this is exactly what they're doing, right down to stealing their pensions, stealing their money out of their bank accounts. It's exactly what they're doing. They've denied them any, any health care. They've denied them any pensions. They've denied them. They, they basically denied them any work. So they, they have orchestrated this right from the beginning. And that was, that was a, a, ANC memo 
from 1993, before the elections, the free and fair elections. That was their document. And it's still there. Now the United States can do something under the Eli Weisel law. It was signed as a bipartisan thing by President Trump, uh, President, yeah, President Trump that was introduced by the Democrats, not by the Republicans. It's the Eli Weisel law which states you, we can stop genocide. Now I'm going to tell you something. The UN stats from 2012, half a million people have been murdered in South Africa since 1994. 80,000 of them are white. What mistakes? Of that, oh, I'm sorry, go quickly continue. I'm sorry. Okay, so since 2012, you can add another quarter million to that number. And, and, and a woman, a, not a woman, a female of any age of them, one hour old to 99 years old is raped in the South Africa every single minute. That's a fact. We were, we were hearing uh, from some other people that were privately messaging me that you've got the blacks were, were entering homes of whites and putting babies in microwaves and pouring boiling waters on ba- infants in bathtubs and raping exactly, the women, crucifying exactly. the go ahead, go ahead, I'm that's, sorry. That's exactly what's happening. Legitimately, this is not this is not made up, right? We're not. No, no you can. I'm, I'm telling you, just go on, go on the internet, go on to Twitter, go on to all of these things. We're all screaming. All of us are screaming. Nobody's listening. Every time I bring South Africa up, I'll get people who inbox me telling me to thank me for bringing this up. Um, if if you had to tell America, you know, tell to, to avoid the mistakes, go to my YouTube channel. Go to my YouTube channel. And just call me Hawk. I'll look at that. What mistakes can we avoid making over here in the United States? You have to say no. You have to stand up. Where are the veterans? All the veterans need to stand up to the Black Lives Matter. Stand up and put them in their place. And Antifa, then all the veterans need to stand in front of all of these statues. And we mean to demand that these, these political leaders be removed. And the only way you can do this, only way you can do this, is to say no. And the moderates, the, the conservative people that are that are out there that are, are do not want this, you can't sit on your couch and say, "Oh my God, oh my God," you got to stand up now. We got to stand up. All of us have to say no. And this next election, you have to vote for Trump. He's the only guy we got left. The, if we don't have this guy in, you can kiss this country goodbye. How does, uh, I mean, a lot around the world, Trump is either loved or hated. Does South Africa look into him as some kind of saving grace to help out, or what's the view on him? They've been begging him to say something. He did say something, and then he kept quiet. We do not know why. Uh, 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 Pompeo, was supposed, Pompeo was supposed to check into it. For some unknown reason, they shut down. We do not know why. We've got an ambassador down there who is she's an ex-South African. Her name is Lena Mark. She is aiding and abetting this communist government by praising them every day. We want her out. She is she is a terrible ambassador to the United States. She is aiding and abetting these murders because she's praising this government. And and this is another thing. They just passed a law for uh, 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 they uh, what do they call it? Comp- uh, um, taking the land without compensation. So the uh, expropriation of land without compensation. That means they walk into your property, they take your land, and you do not get paid for it. How can you do that? That is, that is against the UN, uh, not the, it's against the, the ICC rule, law. It's against even the, con, uh, the Geneva Convention. It's against the Agoa Agreement that the United States has with South Africa. What, that, why are we aiding and abetting this communist evil government? Even the blacks are starting to complain in South Africa. And I am not against black people in South Africa. I feel sorry for them because I voted when I was 18 years old to get rid of apartheid. And I wanted to get rid of apartheid for one reason only, that every man, just be, every man and woman in that country is equal no matter, because we are not colored. You got to realize in Africa, I was born in Africa. So I came to America. What am I? Am I an African-American or am I just a color called white? You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When I became a citizen of the United States, I said, I'm an African-American. You know what I was told? You're not black. I said, I didn't know Africa was a color. 
It's a continent. And if you born in the United States, are you a United States citizen or are you just a white person? We got to realize that we are not colors anymore. We have to demand that we are not colors. Because if you want equal rights, you cannot have black awards. You cannot have black or, or Black Lives Matter. You cannot have uh, uh, black beauty competitions. You cannot have black awards, black TV, black anything. Because you're the racist now. Why well, can't nobody see that? Do you think that, God forbid, we keep on this path over here that we could see something like happen in South Africa? Oh, God, yes. Yeah. But you got to realize a lot of black people are turning against them now. There's a lot of there's a lot of conservative black. You see that old guy was shot yesterday. Uh yes, I did. The one who had the Trump supporter. Uh, yes, yeah, they in shot Wisconsin. him. Dead. Yeah. Yes, there was another video I seen. Just so it was, uh, I can't remember where I saw it. Guy standing there with a Trump hat. His buddy standing next to him, so cold. Guy steps behind him, puts a weapon behind his head, and blows his head off. I think it's uh, going to get a lot worse between now and November with this election coming up. Exactly. People have to go and vote against this evil. If they do not, we have got a huge problem. Another thing that should happen, and I don't know why it's not happening, these Pfizer things that they did, Obama. Listen, I still say that Obama was an illegal president. We agree. Listen, 100%, I've spoken to Kenyans. I'm African. I can speak to them. I've spoken to them. They've told me straight he was born in Kinshasa. He was not born in the United States. He was sent to a madrasa in the, in the Far East to get indoctrinated into Muslim, into the Muslim world. He came to the United States. He, he even has cards state that he's uh, Barack, uh, uh, some other name. Anyway, his, his stepbrother, his half brother, is very vocal on uh, on uh, Twitter. Uh, Craig, yeah. listen, your your YouTube channel is called Just. Call me Hawk, H A W K. It's the yeah, Hawk. You have a my- ton of information there. Um, yeah. We'd love to have you back on to talk about some more issues. I know it's, I, I wish I had you on for more than just once a year, but I'd like to keep some updates going on in South Africa and how we yeah, get spread more time. awareness and uh, have anytime. people focus on how they can help more. But uh, just yeah. call me Hawk is the YouTube channel. Make sure you check yes. out all the content you have there. And, uh, well, I mean, be safe, and uh, we'll be in touch with you Thank again you. soon. Also, if you could, uh, there, there's a link to the, to the petition to, to bring sanctions against South Africa for, for human rights violations. I'll be more than happy to wind up sharing that. Craig, thank you. It's great to Thank talk you. to you again. Let's talk to you again soon, please. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. All right, great. Yeah, I just want to thank Izo for letting me be on the show and giving out this information on South Africa. Guys, there's a petition link in the bottom of my description. Please sign it and share it with your friends. We need to stop this evil government in South Africa for what they are doing. We appreciate you watching the show and listening to the radio's podcast. Also, please just subscribe, share, and like. Thank you. Oh.